What's up, everybody? It's your favorite astronaut's favorite nerd. Today we are looking at the Action Toy Shuttle Robo. This was sent to me in that in that box they sent along, and this is one of their modular stands. We'll go ahead and talk about that now. Look, I've done I've shown how all this works in both modes for their uh, Jet Robo, and I'll I'll put that link in the description. This is how it's set up for robot mode display, and then you can manipulate. It's all modular. You can manipulate it. Use these like cross members here to create a stand for uh, the ash the space shuttle to plug into to display. So I'm not going to take time and go through that again. If you want to look at it, how it's done, uh, the links in the description. You have this adapter. This is what allows them to plug into the base, and that's simply by installing it into that port there and then plugging it in. So you, he comes with a blaster rifle, comes in three pieces, the magazine and then this section and then the barrel section. It comes apart easily. He can hold it. It can also be stored on the space shuttle. Part of it goes in here. This part, you can actually, you can fit it in while it's transformed in alt mode you just kind of have to drop it down those are the two pegs in there that you're trying to get to slide in so you just drop it down in that little cavity and then you just push from the back so to speak and it'll slide in and stay in place and then this one goes over top and then the magazine goes inside the cockpit um which i'll show you that during transformation alt mode wise it's it's kind of fine i'll tell you the the problems that i have with it is um mainly it's this wing right here i can't quite get this to peg in and it's a small little tab where it has to go I got the other one so I'd imagine that this one works but oh, there it is nope nope I'm just taking the paint off of it so that's kind of a bummer and uh, the this like center all these center pieces they seem to come kind of undone as I'm messing about with it so that's sort of not the best the materials feel fine it's like a rougher plastic on the wings um, and it, but it's very, it's a very sturdy plastic. Um, black paint, obviously, and then black paint for the windows, black paint up here for the fin. And uh, we probably could have used some, some love back here in the thrusters and such, but that's not, that's not the case. And yeah, other than that, it's kind of fine. The sculpt is decent enough, and the size is kind of consistent with what they've been doing with the rest of their line. There it is next to Tiger Tracks. Okay, so let's transform them. Bring down the feet here, disconnect them from the back there. Unpeg this one if you can, fold that down and you can bring that around I believe. Same here, untab this if it honestly if it hasn't come untabbed already. Now it's going to stay in place and make me look like a jerk but that's tight. Same here. Ooh, that's, that's tight too. So be cautious. All right. These pieces come out and then double hinge down. And then you can kind of extend the legs, separate them. And then the whole foot moves around to the opposite side. And then this part of the wing here rotates to the back and then if you get the arms out and there's a not a whole lot of room there come on girl you can see the ball peg yeah move those around and plug that in now I should hopefully have more room with this one yeah move it around and then you slide up the forearm panel no slide down the forearm panel I think and there's that and then rotate the waist 180 bring down the backpack as you do so flip this piece down that will tab into there and then this piece opens up and right in there is where you would store the magazine. I didn't show it, so there it is. All right, so let's talk about him. There he is holding his gun in case you thought I was lying. 
So, proportion-wise and stuff, I think it's fine. You know, it's a little fella, but I think it all works kind of appropriately. The head is on a ball peg. You got a little bit down. You got a little bit up. You got silver paint and black paint and yellow paint on him. And that's all done well, including the yellow paint, which we all know is challenging to pull off. So overall, that works okay. And then we have some die cast in the chest that's painted white. We have this design here in the chest that's painted black and then gunmetal silver and blue. And then we have this bottom piece, which is all painted this gunmetal gray. Now for the shoulders, they're on ball pegs. Because of the transformation, you get a little bit of a reverse butterfly. However, because of the kibble, you can't really utilize it much. It's there, but you can't really get much out of it. Because of the same kibble, you can get them up almost 90 degrees pretty much to the side, but they got to be pretty much perfectly at the side. If you try to go this way, you're going to bump into those pieces and so forth. That's going to give you a problem. You do get the 360 spin on them, so those, those work fine in that regard. Bicep swivel. A single hinged elbow gets you 90 degrees, and I don't know if there's anything for the wrist or not. It feels like there might be, but no, I'm not getting anything out of them. I would imagine that they should. There is some really tight tolerances with this thing, so it could be that it's just too tight, but uh, no, I think that's locked in position. You have a ball peg for the abdomen, so that gets you your waist swivel. You can move these uh, little hip things out of the way, and you can get the full waist swivel, and it gets you a little bit of an ab crunch forward and back. Um, you have these hip panels. They're not going anywhere. They're on ball pegs. You can move them out of the way to get a pretty good range out with the hips. There's are T-jointed ball pegs, and then front and back, you get the full Monty, so no problems there. Thigh swivel, you do get some orange and black paint there. Single hinged knee, which gets you just about 90 degrees, but you got a lot of junk down here to kind of worry about. And then you have ankles on ball pegs, so you get an ankle tilt down, a little bit up. The rocker is very slight as well, and then you get an additional toe hinge. So that's all okay. And then the back of the figure is, you know, it's kind of is what it is. Not the prettiest, um, not by any stretch of the imagination. And that is this fella. Size comparison wise, there he is with the Jet and Bike Robo. So shorter than the Jet, a little bit taller than the bike, but pretty close to being, you know, this guy's in a bit of an A stance. So still taller than the bike, but um, probably maybe closer to the bike than to the Jet. Final thoughts wise, uh, look, there's a lot of issues with this guy. For one, the plastic doesn't feel as refined as their other two uh, that I have, the Jet and the bike. You know, it just, it feels rougher. It feels a little bit less, like the, the, the Deluxe Bike Robo feels much better, as you would expect it would for the price, but it also feels more in line with the first two than what this does. Now, what this does continue to do in regard to the first two, has die cast, has some paint accents, has an action figure element that's, you know, it's fine, but it's not as good as some of the other ones because it's just so much kibble that you have to work around, like the backpack and the side flanks here and the the chunkiness of the legs and such. And it's not that it's there's it's not that it's not fun at all. It's just that I feel like maybe the other two are a bit more fun. So here's the thing, right? It's a simple transformation that's relatively easy to flip back and forth. There are some tolerance issues as well, which are gonna prevent you from having a total blast with it. But for the most part, it's easy to flip back and forth. There is still some remnants of that action figure element left. There's plenty of paint accents, all of which are done clean and sharp. There's die cast, and I really like the modular base, right? So, so this is where things get sticky. It's hard to say you don't recommend something when a company sends you something. Like these guys out there, they get all this stuff sent to them. I understand their plight. It's not easy. But this is where it takes reaching down, grabbing what you got, and saying your piece, what you feel is correct. This piece as a standalone, I can't recommend it. There is a caveat to that when you consider not having it standalone, and we'll get there. But as a standalone, I can't recommend it. 
and I feel terrible. It feels bad. It doesn't feel good when, when you have a rapport, a little bit of a rapport, and you have to tell them that, no, I can't recommend this to other people. So I brought a baby along for extra cuteness. Can I have a kiss? I can't help but think that some of my views are tainted by just looking at the deluxe bike robo, which kind of knocked my socks off. And then to kind of go from that to this is a, you know, it doubles in price. So it, it also halves in quality, maybe. If you're not in for the line or if you're just cherry picking the good ones, I'd pass on this. But the truth is, it's just not the best that they've put out. We know for a fact that they can do better. And uh, I, for one, would like to see them do better. This is sort of the best kind of space shuttle shuttle robo type of character that you're probably going to get especially in this size but unfortunately it's not the best that this company has made thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care